No, I'm going to take you, literally, this is, this is one tiny bake room. There are two elements I want to show you, then we're going to disappear into a fridge, which is even smaller. I'm actually going to get ready to do a board. You're going to get or ready to do a board. Okay. Pepper nickel. Boil and bake are the two things. Now, as an Englishman, you know, we know about boiled food. It's not why I work for Rubies, but okay. This dough has been sat out here for, sorry, for 15, 20 minutes. Warm up to proof it, if you like. On her, she's doing this. She's touching it, she's feeling the dough. She knows when it's ready to go. She's putting it into this kettle. This kettle must be a rolling boil. So it's a 50 gallon kettle. There's no getting around this. There's no getting nice, fast boil. And a couple of things happen. These bagels float to the top. Technically, we call a flat float. We're not that imaginative about the boiling of these. And here's where the eggshell crust comes in. All the starches, they migrate to the outside of the bagel and they gelatinize, forming a glossy coat. And you see what she's doing now? She's giving these a, basically she's bobbing them or tossing them, making sure they're all fully coated in the water. The other thing is it, it kills the yeast. So up until this point, you have fermentation. We'll talk about that in a second. It's arresting the fermentation. Oh, oh, look at this. So this is what you can do if you have last night's bagels. We'll, we'll eat this. This is a salmon strata that Ooh. Dinah and I made this morning. Ooh. We're going to munch on or taste them a little bit. You can chop them up. There's a, there's a recipe in your, in, in your, in your kit. So you want to just pull out. Okay. So these bagels are coming out and they are hot. And I will tell you, she has gloves on right now. There's no bugs involved. This is boiling water because these are hot, hot, hot. Pumpernickel bagels. And I would have you do this, but there's quite a lot of this. So these are being laid up. Up and down, burlap sticks. Sorry. Okay. Aluminum, aluminum battens covered with burlap. It's not very high tech. It's kept wet because someone tells you to stick your head in the oven. Would you do it? Watch. <laughs> so in the oven and they will go in. These will actually go in upside down. So they go on these shelves, and this big deck oven. Those are those are basically. It's like a hearth. It's a stone. These are all stones. This whole oven is kept at 470 degrees, which if you guys bake, bake bread, you'll know is a, it's a wicked hot oven. And it just keeps going <laughs> all day at that temperature. Now, now yes. the reason for those sticks is that if you have anything you're about to flip or have flipped or we're in, we're in between those stages. Yeah, I got four minutes for flipping for that. I'm going to okay. boil another, just do another thing. Please. So essentially, they go into the oven upside down. And with some of these ones here, I mean, always, this is difficult. No, you're fine. I'm going to show you how, how they're seated. They start upside down. We want the bagel to bake on both sides Thank to be you, golden sir. brown and to have that nice crust. So we start them actually upside down and then we flip them over. So, literally, she'll reach into the oven and we'll see if, if we're still here. She'll flip these over so they end up right side up. So, as a baker, you are. You have to rely on your sense of, you know, we, if you're doing french fries, I don't know, at the other place that does really beautiful french fries, they hit a button. So yeah, fry basket sorry. blows down. Oops. Do you want to take some? And after, so after, after it, right on that, on that shelf. Okay. And, and after five minutes, that fry basket comes up. And it, you don't have to think about it. This is baking with hands-on and feel. And the only way I can describe it, we don't have a word in this country. It's, in Germany, they have a, have a word, Finger spitting of food. And what it means is it means the art in the science of your fingertips. It means how does that dough feel? Does it feel the right temperature? That is you can't I can't find a manual for that. You just have to have a sensibility to do it. Then you have to have the passion to say, you know what, we have little timers around here, but it has to come here and you have to know the this gives me goosebumps when I talk about it. You have to actually feel the dough and really want to get it just right because it's a crude instrument. This crude boiling water. I mean, the, again, it's not mechanized other than the fact it's rotating up that allows us to fill this full of bagels. So we'll do this again, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna, we should stand and watch. So they go and then they're flipped, the fingertips. So all the does have, we, we, we yeah, burn it off. They're all burnt off. off. Burnt off. Oh. They come out and they go under here and now they're the right side up. Come take a peek into, into, into the deck here, and you'll see 